And unfortunately, those same areas that are burning right now under red flag warnings, that's a heightened fire threat, strong winds through the weekend and several days in dry conditions. And we mentioned Washington Parish here, but it's more tonight. That'll be about the fog for us. And we're already under dense fog advisories, but first up is going to be a little bit of rain potential. We're already seeing some areas of a pocket of drizzle here and there. I really can't say light showers, but there's a look at the little drizzle that we've seen, or maybe a pocket of that moving through. This is essentially where a front has been left over, and that's first things first. The front kind of right on through. We might see a little bit more rain on top of that to come tomorrow when we start to warm up. But the dense fog advisory in place for everybody, so that's a weather impact day through tonight for the possibility of reduced visibilities that could cause problems on roads. Take it low and slow. You know how that goes. It's low beams, slowing your speeds down. The worst of this right now, speaking of Washington Parish, it's going to be up north and more into Mississippi, but we also see reduced visibility in the typical spots as you get towards the airport and towards Homa. So that is first up in the way of the fog, which was a combination of cool temperatures and all the rain we got late last night and early this morning, right all through the heart of New Orleans where we had the most of it, two and three inch rain totals. I will tell you, it was impressive and it came down pretty fast rate too. So that system's just east of us right now, leaving the leftover front, but the big view is gonna be about fog potential tomorrow, then a mild afternoon, I think we get some sun. More fog Sunday, which could be even worse. And then an even warmer day, but getting back to work and school next week, another round of fog. So that's first up with these weather impact days. So here's a look at low temperatures tomorrow. We're into the 50s, but take a look at this fog forecast. This one does a lot better, showing widespread dense fog potential by tomorrow morning. So again, give it a few extra minutes if you have to be up on early Saturday morning. We go from there and watch this forecast that shows right along that leftover front, an isolated shower. This wants to keep the cloud cover in place right here in New Orleans. I'm not so hot on that. Earlier forecast data were in unison of wanting to break the clouds and getting more sun, and that would get us into low to mid 70s. If we'd hang on to those clouds, though, we could hold temps to about the 60s tomorrow. So it's all about that cloud forecast. Into Sunday, we're not as chilly. We're into the 60s, but more widespread dense fog. That appears to be likely. Watch the cloud cover here start to break apart and isolated showers possible in the warmth of the day. But even more sun to come on Sunday gets us back up upper 70s by that time. But you just guessed it, there's the possibility for more fog getting into next week by Monday morning. Temperatures here into the 60s, but then we clear the clouds and fog and we get to the upper 70s in the afternoon. But it's the arrival of our next storm. And what we had late last night into early this morning, we could be dealing with another round of it Monday night going in through Tuesday. That could be some hefty rain and locally heavy rain also means weather impact days and potential for street flooding. We're not going to end this rainier pattern until we get to the end of next week by into Friday. But right now, speaking of Monday into Tuesday, we are under excessive rainfall outlooks. If we would put together the rainfall all the way through next week, several inches of rain possible, but the weather impact days for the locally heavy rain potential, we're under those risks for Monday to Tuesday. WDSU first morning weather seven day forecast weather impact day tonight dense fog, but I think it's warmer days with more sun if we get it and then we've got weather impact days to come for the locally heavy rain and another flood risk next week.